Alright guys, it's Hazard HD here from the Aftermath Gaming and it's been quite a while since I've seen you guys and uh, sorry about that, I've just been busy with uh, school work and stuff like that but I've got a new, brand new span spanking new video for you guys uh, well it's not the unboxing of Pokemon X I guess by the title you've already known but I got the Pokemon X with it because that's the reason I bought this device Nintendo 2DS which is la la right here uh, I'll be unboxing this guys this for you guys later uh, just, in, just to get you guys update, this is what I got up with it. I got this little Pokemon poster, which I'll show you guys later as well. Uh, the whole bundle pack which the, was that I got one free game with it, uh, which was why I got Pokemon X, not Pokemon Y. Pokemon Y sucks. Uh, so I got Pokemon X and this blue case for the DS. So hopefully, you guys, you join me later and we can unbox this special piece of hardware. So here we go, the start of the show, 10 GS right here. Uh, the reason I got a 10 GS and not 3DS is one, uh, I don't have the money for it and if I did have the money I would, say I would buy it but the other reason is because I it probably won't use the 3D function of 3DS. Uh, the reason I got 2DS mainly because I wanted to play Pokemon, apparently there is a few features in Pokemon that have uh, the 3D like thing used to use it and uh, Whatever, who cares about that anyway? This is the 2DS, which are the 2DS. So as you can see, uh, you can have, you can play with the 3DS chips as well as uh, you can use the normal 2DS, the you normal know, DS chips, which I guess uh, uh, every day at DS you can play any chips you want, but you can't play, I'm pretty sure you can't play the Game Boy Advance games and stuff like that, just the, ten, the DS chips, which I guess why Nintendo cut back on their money and stuff to use to make this device, but Yes, that's how it goes. Uh, that's the front front of the box right there. And then we go to the back. There's the trustworthy 2DS right there. And then inside there you can have all the things inside the box. As you can see, you get the 2DS itself right there. And the wall adapter for it, which if you buy the 3DS, you don't get the wall adapter for it, which it kind of boggles me a bit. I don't understand why they don't do that. But for the 2DS, you get the wall adapter the trustworthy stylus you get, an SD card which is 4 gigabytes, AR cards which I didn't know uh, about before but I do know about now, uh, if you guys want to know what that is just, I guess google it, uh, and the manuals which obviously is mandatory with any device you get. So that's the back of the, the, back of the box and if you didn't get you guys didn't see I've got the, the black and blue one between me and you uh, the red and red and white one <coughs> kinda kinda sucks. But yeah, uh, I'm just a fan of blue and uh, you can see that with my color coordination of Pokemon X and uh, the case I got with it. Uh, nothing really else going on on the box apart from I guess was the boring bits of the box that people don't tend to read anyway. But yeah, that's the box guys. I mean I hope you're seven and above that you can play this this device. Uh, am I seven? I'm not seven. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys join me. I can unbox this just for purposes of making it quicker. I have taken the tape off stuff. I haven't actually looked inside of it, which I guess makes it a better unboxing because I have no idea what, what I know inside of it. But uh, yeah, just make it a bit faster. Hopefully you guys do want to see step by step slow motion of how uh, you know. Here we go, guys. I'm just gonna take this out. Anyway, that's the boring bits. Hopefully, uh, you stick around and we we'll see what's inside the box and what it actually looks like compared to other devices. <laughs> Alright guys, here it is, what we've been waiting for, the 2DS, and all the day, I'm not just saying this, I'm being biased right I'm just saying that it feels pretty good in my hands, and I'm not just, well, just like a first impression video or anything, but I guess it's good to have it, like people's may see what it's like, but I guess we'll just start from the face of it, and right here is the, the wee joystick you got, and then the directional pad which you always have on the DS's. 
and you have your mic, the home button, the buttons for actions, start, select, and the on and power button, which I just turned on. And then the bottom, you have the sleep button, which quickly turns the device back to sleep. You have the audio jack here, you go to the side, volume here, and that's where you put those little ribbon things, I guess, if you, if you want to carry it around or anything. Oh, the back button for the pictures, apparently. I don't take both pictures, but the left back button. That's where you put your, your cards for your the cartridges for the DS. That's where you put your charging for the adapter for the charger. The right back button, SD card is already in there. You just do that to take it out. The stylus pen, which is right here. And finally in there are one of those things you can use to put the ribbon around. And then if you look at the back, there's the camera. And then there's a Nintendo logo there, which is obviously always an every device now in Nintendo's. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So in the middle we have a 2DS obviously, and then comparison to the left we have a Nintendo DS i and then on the right we have a Nintendo DS Lite and I'll show you a size comparison between them just so you have a, a, an idea of what like the sizes of this so if you flip this open I mean it's about the same size, it's a bit bigger, the screens are the same size on obviously in the Nintendo DS these ones are the same size as the screen this one's a bit bigger on both but if you get the Nintendo 3DS, uh, the screens are the same size, top and bottom. But the 3DS XL obviously is a bit bigger, that's the reason why it's quite XL. But as you can see, it's not much of a difference really in sizes, except from the way hinge you get for the traditional Nintendo DS, what you know for the hinge, so it makes it a bit portable. And I guess the, the 2DS is still a bit portable, but it's not as portable as putting this in your pocket and uh, it's taking it where you want. But it's not really a big hassle for me, I'm not going to exactly take it anywhere, but if that's a big problem for you, probably, then I guess it's take a second look at getting the 2DS over the 3DS. Alright guys, so that's it for the unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, it's been Hazard HD from the Aftermath Gaming. Uh, so guys, I'll catch you later for the next time. Peace.